Hey, what's going on, guys? Joe here, 690ADV, 690ADV.com, Radio 690ADV. Uh, welcome to the podcast. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our podcast, we do them uh, two, at least two a week. So if you want to catch our podcast and be alerted about our podcast, uh, make sure you hit subscribe. Yeah, click that subscribe. We sure would appreciate it. It uh, uh, it helps us out quite a bit, believe it or not. And um, like I said, Sundays and Thursdays, these are our podcast days. Uh, we do usually a video podcast for our Thursdays, which you're watching now. And Sundays are usually an audio podcast. Um, so uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. We sure would appreciate it. Anyway, on to the podcast. Oh, yeah, don't forget. You can catch us on iTunes, Spotify, and you can get us on Google Podcasts or any of your favorite apps, you can uh, search for us on there. Radio 690 ADV. Anyway, uh, today's podcast, uh, Happiness in the Dirt. <laughs> that's, kind of, um, that's kind of my thing. Um, I'm always, you know, I, I get stuff all the time on the... Um, on the rant and ride and some of the other stuff, everybody says, Hey man, there's not enough dirt in what you do. Well, in Dallas, Fort Worth, there's just not a ton of dirt around here that we can go find. We have to actually go ride to go get to it. You know, and the closest dirt patch that I can get to is probably 40 miles away. So to go shoot a video to run 40 miles and do about a 180 mile trip, it doesn't make much sense. So that's why, you know, I do my rides, um, semi close to the house or close to home. Um, and that's why there's just not a whole lot of dirt. So, but I'm always trying to get to the dirt and that's really kind of my goal is to just find a way to find dirt. And anytime I find dirt, ugh, they get the dozers out, man. And they build houses and, um, it becomes private property and I can't do it anymore. So I'm doing like the hooligan run, you know, whenever, I'm trying to find dirt to to ride around and, and shoot the videos, uh, but but I'm always trying to find my way to dirt because, like I said, the dirt happiness is really what it's all about, and that's why I have a dual sport bike because I really like to get into the dirt, and I love riding on fire roads and scree roads, rocky roads, not the ice cream, but <laughs> you know, but just just dirt in general is just so much fun, and that's the main purpose. Um, the 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 purpose of the dual sport bike is, you know, we do the street really because our heart is in the dirt. You know, um, I'm pretty sure that most people that do ride dual sport, uh, they prefer dirt more than anything. But, you know, unless you're in certain areas of the country, you are not going to be able to just sit there and ride on dirt roads unless you're in like Utah or Colorado or Arizona, New Mexico, uh, some places in Nevada, some parts of California, mainly on the uh, eastern side of California. But, you know, in Texas, there are dirt roads and stuff like that. There are places that we can't go and get in the dirt. But what I mean by um, that's where I want to be is is my, my love is in the dirt is it's not so much the riding in the dirt. That is fantastic. But I like to be in the dirt. I almost like being dirty, you know, it's really kind of nice. I like having dirt all over my jacket and my pants and, and, uh, I love camping in that stuff. That's what it's all about. I like to adventure camp. So I like to pack all my stuff up. That's why I have my giant loop and have all my stuff. You've probably seen my pictures. Um, I'll put some up on screen, just a, a, a few pictures and some of the stuff of what I like to do, but I love to adventure camp. You know, I love all the gear and stuff. It, it's, it's not really a survival type deal. You know, it's never been in a situation where it's been survival, but I am prepared, uh, if need be, but I just, I like, I like laying on the ground. I, I like sitting next to a campfire. I like sitting, you know, uh, with my buddies and shooting the breeze and laughing and joking and going out and harvesting wood. You know, I just did a video on a camp saw, you know, the seven, um, or seven saw, whatever you want to call it. That's one of my favorite things is when I ride all day and I'm whooped because that's what we do. We ride all day and then we get to camp 
and I'm tired, but man, I cannot wait to just drop everything, get set up real quick, and then run off into the woods or somewhere and just start sawing wood up and getting it all ready and bringing it back to camp, you know, and then getting the little twigs and stick. You know, you you start with, you know, pencil lead, and then you go to a pencil, then you go to a jumbo pencil, and then you, you know what I'm saying, and then you go to, you know, quarter inch, half inch, one inch, and then you build that campfire up. And we're going to do some videos on how to make campfires um, with little or nothing, you know, uh, it did in, even when it's wet, you know, we're going to do some stuff on that, but that's what I enjoy because when we ride all day and we do all that stuff, that's what the goal is, is that we get to sightsee all day, but then at night we get to go and play in the dirt. We get to be kids again. And that's really kind of what it's all about. You know, all of our guys that we ride with, you know, we, we, we set up our tents, you know, like we are kids making forts, you know, we're making fires, we're cooking food over the fires and we're doing all these things. And that's where the love is, is being in the dirt because you get to be a kid again. And that's really kind of what it's about. You know, it's just the boys, you know, um, and it's just, it's kind of magical a little bit. And if you've never adventure camped or, or took all your gear and been with your buddies or anything like that, really, you should try it. Or if you're just getting into this stuff, um, you know, pick my brain if you want to and pick the subscribers that we have because we have lots of great subscribers that do lots and lots of this stuff. And um, you can feed off of them too. Not only that, just the forums and stuff too, but um, 690ADV at gmail.com. If you have any questions, I will do everything I can to help you out. But that's really what it's about. That's the love of the dirt is... <laughs> We like the street part, but at the end of the day, it's really the dirt is what we're we're, we're getting for. We, we hit the road to get to the dirt. So, but getting to the adventure camping, um, you know, anybody that's out there and you're listening to this, um, if you've been doing it a while, I'm pretty sure you feel the same way I do. You are probably, um, you just, you, you can't wait to the end of the day and you don't care what kind of a beat down you have. You don't care how hot you've been or, or how much pavement you've had. You're just looking for that one spot. You're looking for that, that one road or that one trail that will take you to, dun, 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 <laughs> you know, your epic spot, you know, and it's always the best man. Whenever you, 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 you go off on one of those beaten paths and you think it's going to go to nowhere and, and lo and behold, you pop out and you just have this epic shot either into a slot canyon or you're overlooking a lake or you're right next to a lake or, you know, or uh, uh, any of that type of stuff. It, it's just, you know, or it's just got an epic vista view. Um, it, it, no money can pay for that. You know, you can go stay at the Four Seasons all you want. But at the end of the day, when you watch these commercials and you see these fantastic, most beautiful places in the world, you're not going to get there in your Honda Civic. <laughs> it's not going to happen. And we can get to it so much easier with our dual sport bikes. And that's why we have them is because we can go down these roads and there's nothing wrong with riding a Harley or a, any of those other motorcycle street bikes or, you know, um, uh, cruisers or sport bikes or whatever. All motorcycles are great, but the dual sports, what's going to really get you to where you want to go and you want to see this stuff, you know, and a lot of these epic places you see like these photos and stuff. If you're just getting into this and I'm sure some of the other people that are watching videos, if they make a comment or something like that, will reiterate what I'm saying. Uh, a lot of these beautiful places, they're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, nowhere. They are 30, 50 miles from any type of gas station or civilization, you know, and these commercials make it look like it's, oh, it's just right around the corner of your house. It, that does not exist. It's just not, um, that, that, that's just not, not the way it is. And not only that, you get to go find all these other places where people go, man, where's that? And you can't really explain it because it's a dot on a map. So, but that's the whole thing is with the bikes, we get out and we go do these things and we're looking for the dirt. I'm just really writing that. I just, it's the dirt, the dirt, the dirt. That's what it's all about. It's getting in the dirt, playing in the dirt, you know, making a fire ring, creating that fire. Like I said, you know, laying in a sleeping bag, it's cold at night, you know, I mean, all that stuff. That's what really makes it so magical and majestic and fantastic 
is riding all day and being beat down only to go and do even more work when you get to where you're going. And it's fulfilling for some weird and ungodly reason. It is very satisfying and it's very, very, very cool. And if you've never done it, you really should try it. And like I said, it's not for everybody. Not everybody is going to be into, you know, the riding and the adventure camping and, you know, riding all day and be beat down and then just want to go crawl in the sleeping bag and lay on the dirt. That's just not for everybody. But there is a select few of us riders that are out there. They can't get enough of it. And I'm one of those riders. I can't get enough of it. It's awesome. So that's what I mean by the love of the dirt and getting to the dirt and stuff like that. But if you're a new rider or, 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 or you're, you've been doing it a while, but you've never adventure camped, you know, pick my brain, do some research, get out and do that stuff because you won't know if you love it if you never give it a chance. And I think everybody, if you do ride dual sport, you really should get out and give it a shot. So try your love in the dirt and, and, and see if you like it as much as I do. It's just, it's just fantastic. It's so, it's so much, so much fun. So anyway, remember, don't forget, subscribe. Be part of our podcast, and uh, don't forget about our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 690 v We got videos coming out every single week. We got at least two or three videos every week, and uh, we'll do everything we can to help you out. Um, and like I said, just be out there, have fun, be safe, enjoy your day, and uh, go find your adventure, man, because that's really what the 690 is about. It's about all of us finding adventure, having a good time, and helping everybody. We appreciate your time. You guys have a fantastic day. 690 out.